Well, winter weather, meantime, wreaking havoc in communities across the U.S. This is a live look right now in Nashville, Tennessee, where snow is making travel nearly impossible and temperatures there will stay below freezing through Saturday morning. Meantime, winter weather alerts stretch from coast to coast. 37 states right now are under alerts that impact more than 90 million people as hazardous weather moves across the U.S. into tomorrow. News Nation reporters spread out across the country as people brace for snow, ice, and frigid temperatures. On the East Coast, a daily snow record now broken with 9.8 inches so far. In downtown Buffalo, where the snow came at the worst possible time during drive time, we saw people pushing out cars every block we drove. Trucks were getting stuck. Buses were getting stuck. Nothing that Buffalonians have not seen before, but it's not always fun. This is actually later than usual for the first real storm of the year, but Buffalo and Western New York is getting through it, and the kids are just doing it the old fashioned day, having their fun on a snow day, the first snow day of the year. A close call in Wyoming, a trooper helping with an interstate crash when that trooper is nearly hit by a minivan. You can see him jump out of the way as that van sprays snow and ice all over. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Today's Clipper system behaved pretty much as expected. The dry air eating away at most of the snow from I-64 to the north, but the further south you went, the heavier the snow became. The video shows the snow piling up, uh, especially on the sides of the road initially, but eventually we did get some pretty slick roads. Road temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, making for a slick commute all the way down to St. Genevieve. That's where we saw our worst accident of the day as a tractor trailer went off the on ramp going on Interstate 55 down there in St. Genevieve. Fortunately, no injuries to report with that. Now the snow winding down after a cold, cold day. It will be a frigid night. In Nashville, government offices closed today as the city braces for winter weather. The National Weather Service saying one to two inches of snow is expected per hour. As roads across Middle Tennessee are already covered in snow, that area could see up to seven inches. It's slow moving in parts of Kentucky. Heavy snow falling in the Hopkinsville area, causing low visibility. Yeah, that's a bad one. Oh, there's another one. Just got hit. And in Virginia, a state of emergency declared as a second winter storm will dump even more snow across a region still in recovery from Mother Nature's last blast. Well, thousands of Virginia residents are still without power due to down lines and trees like the one you see right here behind me. I spoke with one Stafford County resident who hasn't had electricity since Monday. Her roads are still not plowed, and Governor Northam says these back to back storms will generate landmark weather. He's asking residents for flexibility during this time, but for many in the state, their patience is wearing thin. In Arlington, Christy Matino, WDVM 25. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.